Famous Fortunes, I hope you are well, your host, Lord of the Orbs, Lord Famous Fortunes, back today, I hope you are well, I'm well, thanks for asking, thanks for asking, thanks for checking in, uh, we are going to read it today, <laughs> I don't know what the, what, I don't even know what I'm looking at, you know what I'm talking about, you've seen the thumbnail, Meghan Markle, what is going on, the Children's Hospital event, uh, she... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, wow, uh, freak offs at the children's hospital, I guess. Uh, I don't know what, how to describe this. This dress, I recall, has been worn before uh, with, with Harry at, a, at an equally inappropriate event. Uh, I think it was, uh, that particular event was uh, military veterans, I think it was, that kind of thing. Now it's uh, children's hospital. I don't, <laughs> what's going on, folks? We're going to read today. We're going to find out. I listened to some of, you know, some of the interviews she gave and the way she was talking. Is she, is she with it? I don't, I don't know if she is. I, I actually don't think she's quite with it, but we'll find out what's going on today. On, uh, of course, the fortunate famous show that uh, I, I mean, I throw cards on. Let's just say that. I throw the cards, folks. So let's dive in. Okay, so she's been photographed with, uh, I don't know, like a, an old man with, I think, an earring, I can't quite tell, is that, I don't know what's coming out of his ear there, doesn't look quite right, but all right, an ear, old man with an earring, he looks quite, very happy to be next to Megan, uh, is that, is that uh, the next mark, is it, I don't know, we're going to find out today, if you have a question for a future episode, let me know in the comments, let's, let's, let's just dive in, folks, okay, so, did she, did, what was her thoughts behind wearing the red dress, you know, what, what was the sort of energy there, what is that, what is that? Let's dive in and have a look. What was? Why did she go with this red dress? The the red dress. Uh, I mean, it's become kind of obvious, hasn't it? It's become kind of obvious that she doesn't have people to help her with the the, the outfits. I suppose it's not really a thing. Okay, all right, it's obvious, but let's find out what it. What was she going with with for with the red dress? Cards are hot. Cards are hot. Kinds of hot. Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords, Energy, High Priestess. Oh, the influencer. But here she is, the influencer on the cards. The Four of Cups, the Five of Cups. Interesting symbolism. Uh, and the Moon. Underlying energy is the Prince of Cups. Okay, so this is actually quite interesting because remember the last time she wore it was with Harry. Think about that for a moment. So here's the Prince of Cups. This is seeking affection, seeking attention, right? Seeking um, whatever it is. So that's an important sort of underlying energy we need to sort of look at. Uh, you know, this this is an interesting energy. It's a high, it's a it's a high priestess. It's the influencer card. The influence trying to be an influencer. She's trying to force of being an influencer. It's a guinea pig hair, uh, and there is this guinea pig hair still on the, on the cards. Uh, it's, it, it's forcing it, sort of forcing it, demanding it, demanding being an influencer. Here is, here is an interesting card. It's sort of, I think there might be a subtext to this dress because she's wearing it without Harry. So that's a statement. If you think about it in itself, that's a statement. Now she doesn't seem quite with it when she talks. Uh, I don't quite know what that's all about. Now she's holding hands with that woman in a, in a, I don't know, in a sort of like, the claw, she was clawing that woman, wasn't she? I mean, we have to look at that. I don't even know what to say about that. Uh, so, okay, why she go with the red dress? This is about loss. This is about regret. This is about um, not seeing what's kind of in front of you. I wonder if this is a sort of message to Harry. I don't know, maybe it is. Is it the moon card? Is a sort of resentment? This could be born of resentment. Uh, and not good. These are not good energies, by the way. They're not sort of positive energies to sort of wear this dress and make me feel good or whatever it is. It's, you know, regret, loss, uh, sadness, and, you know, disappointment, not seeing what's in front. I think this is about Harry. I, that's what I suspect. We'll ask in a moment. Then we'll look at the influence of woman as well, the other one. I don't even know who, what her name is, but it was just so weird the way she was clawing her hand like that. Claw, the claw, the freak off claw. All right, so... <laughs> So, so let's uh, let's let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue and ask the question. 
the question, the important question, was this a message to Harry in some way? Cards are hot. Two of Cups, yep. Relationship energy, there it is. Three of Cups, oof. Nine of Wands. Queen of Pentacles, yeah, all right. I'd say it is for sure. Two of two of Wands reversed, Ace of Wands. So, was it a message to Harry? Yes, I think it is, because here, here she is, you know, and I'm going to just kind of focus on the archetype. I mean, she's wearing a red dress, if you look at the card, right? Uh, it's a coincidence, but I think, you know, it's, it's relevant the 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 pentacle is the interesting thing because it's all about the sort of look at me look at my body you know all that sort of energy basically that's the real that's the real deal here with Megan it's always always was always will be right look at the look at the ankles or whatever <laughs> all right you know here it is look at me look at me it's relationship and then it's sort of you know there's as someone else kind of in the relationship as with the three of cups now. Or I'm having a good time outside of the relationship, even though I've been hurt or something along those lines. The relationship isn't looking good with the Two of Wands inverted. To me, it looks like there's a problem here in the relationship. And she's sending a message of sorts. The message being, I can have fun without you, or whatever it is. Uh, you know, I look good, allegedly. Uh, and, you know, other people, da 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 Even this woman is an interesting card. There's a sort of, you know... The woman could, you know, could be coming in here. This, I don't know. I don't know who she is or what she does or anything about her. But she's there being clawed by Megan. Sort of, maybe they're both going to a freak-off. I don't know. But uh, in any event, freak-off's going to become a legendary term, I think, now. Uh, okay. Uh, two of Wands, underlying energy. Mm. All's not well with a relationship. That's what I can tell you. And that's, I think it's a message. That's what I'm seeing on the cards. I didn't think that going into this, but now I do. I think it's a message to Harry. Now, what's this, what is she doing with this woman here? What's, what, like, what is she trying to say with this woman with the, the clawing and the hand, the incessant hand holding? I've never seen anything like it. I really haven't. I haven't, I have not seen anything like this in any red carpet or anything like that. Maybe it's just because I don't watch a lot, but it's a bit under, it's a bit under, it's a bit it's a bit unusual I'd say it's a bit unusual so let's throw some cards what is it about her and this woman that Megan's trying to get across to us you know what's the real story let's have a look cards are hot look at this the moon the moon the moon the moon king of cups so this speaks of Harry as well, Prince of Wands. It's an attack on Harry of some description, is it? It's an attack on Harry, the Hermit. It's it's a hidden message, is it? It's a hidden secret message. The Hierophant, interesting. That's an interesting card. Why would we have seen that? The High Priestess. And one more card, the Queen of Swords. There she is. Okay, so she's making, she's sending a message, I I think. And it's an attack on, it's an attack on Harry, I would say. It's attacking the King of Cups, which would be Harry, secret attack here. It's a message. Now, don't don't think for one second that she'd be. Um, this is sort of outside of the realms of what she'd be capable of. I don't want to hear anyone in the comments saying this is not possible, all right? Because that's just malarkey, all right? To quote Joe Biden. To quote Joe, Big Joe. Big Joe, soon to be through, soon to be thrown out. I think Kamala will take his place now. Soon, soon, folks, soon. Uh, let's continue. So, here she is, the influencer, the cold, uh, cold, calculating influencer. And again, we have the Queen of Swords energy coming out. We have the attacking energy on this King of Cups, which I'd say is Harry. A hidden message, a secret message. And interesting, we have a Hierophant card. The Hierophant and the High Priestess, you know, I'm, I'm more inclined to say that this is about her being someone of note, of, of importance and of value, that she is 
setting the tone here. Basically, that's what this is. She gets to set the tone. She gets to make the rules. She is the influencer. She is the important one. That's what she's saying. She's the center of attention. She is the... She is our God, basically. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, kind of, that's kind of what it is. She is... I mean, literally with the Hierophant energy, it's like she is the, the spokesperson, right, for all that is good and true. And uh, she gets, she gets, she, whatever she says is the truth. It is the gospel, all right? It is, it is your religion, okay? If you, you just better follow it. Whatever she says, she is your Lord. You bow down in, uh, in humble subservience. And, uh, you know, just whatever she says, whatever she thinks, you just got to lap it up, right? Eat it up. Particularly Harry. Harry has to, well, you know, Harry has to do it. Now, why is she, why is she sending messages to Harry? Let's, let's throw down. Let's throw down. Why is she sending messages like this to Harry? Is it, is it because she feels Harry's getting some type of independence or is it because she's just being mean and nasty? Let's find out. What is it? Ooh, is, Harry, is he getting away, is he? Seven of Swords. High Priestess again, here it is, and the Queen of Swords. And the Hierophant again, we get the same cards. I did shuffle. Here's the Gaslighting, Seven of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so, so it, it's a Gaslighting... Oh, I see. It's a, it's, a, it's a deliberate attempt at impacting, if you like, Harry's... Um, Okay, impacting and taking away from Harry's um, fame and reputation, let's say. So Harry did that, you know, New York City tour and all the rest of it. He went to the UK. Now she's gallivanting around, attempting to sort of drain his drain drain his fame, basically. And through you know this sort of gaslighting appearances card again, she's all the things I mentioned before. She's the you know the. the the influencer she's the she's the you know she's the role model she's she sets the tone you know all all of that stuff is is true and and she is just doing this essentially to take from harry's you know trip i guess so she couldn't really let herself i mean you got to think just for one second right how much time has she spent outside of the limelight in the last year lots right a lot of time and all of a sudden, Harry goes to New York City, and he goes to, you know, the UK for a little bit. And all of a sudden, here we are. Here it is. So, yeah, that's... Imagine being in a relationship with someone like that. Drive you mad. Harry wants space as he tries to fix his image. That's what, so they say. So they say. He extended his solo trip without Meghan Markle. Oof. 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 No wonder she's doing it. No wonder she's sending the message. Basically, it's you're nothing without me because I'm everything, right? I'm everything. It's like you're excommunicado, excommunicated from the, the Church of Megan, basically. That's, uh, you know, in, in, a, in a sense, in a sense. It's, uh, this is the problem with the, 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 this is the hierophant is the Pope, right? The Pope archetype. If, it, you know, and it is a power structure, don't get me wrong. It's that if you go against it, where you just sort of, you know, you're not fully going to give yourself to it, then what, then what happens? You sort of, you're on the outs. And uh, that's kind of the same energy uh, here with with Megan. If you go against her, you are on the outs. You are on the outs. Right. Right. So, I mean, I thought I was going to get something more profound. <laughs> it's not very profound. It's just very Megan, isn't it? All right. So what's the deal with her and that woman? What was the... Is there any sort of reality behind that? What's what's going on with her in the handholding and the clawing and the whatever? What was that all about? Is she just insecure in public now or what's the story? Or does she have to drain that woman as well? <laughs> let's, let's ask. Are we going to get two queen cards? Hmm, maybe. Let's see what happens. Cards hot. Okay. Eight of Cups. What's the story with her and that woman? Judgment. The lovers? Oh, fuck. 
uh, the Star and the King of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Oh, okay, there you go. I mean, the lovers, could it really be more of a... She's trying to say that, you know, that there's something going on, right? I mean, that's kind of what it is. Now, whether or not there is something going on is, you know, whatever. But uh, is it um, a little bit... What's this? Hang on a second. I'm having a look at the thing. Why is Megan putting that woman's hand there, the royal rogue? I haven't watched it. Mm. I can't obviously play it for you right now, but... Uh... It's a good question. It's a good question. Why? I mean, here we go. The lovers. Okay. So some type of, and then the, the look on the woman's face. Uh, what? What is, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Wow. So some people are saying here that Megan wasn't even invited to that event. Wow. That's desperation stations. Okay, so she, it, it's kind of like his an energy of, of, of before this, of having to walk away from something, right? Or someone walking away from her. This could be Harry. So now here it is. She wants to be known as sort of this, it's like a message. It's like a, a lesbianic message, I guess. I, 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 what do you want me to say? It is what it is. It's a, uh, it's, 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 it, she's, what is she trying to say? I'm a, I'm a lesbian. I'm gay now. Is that, is that what she's trying to say? <laughs> I can't believe I saw the lovers card today. Oh, oh boy. What an episode. I don't even know. How to, yeah. I don't even know. What, what do I say to this folks? Oh, I don't even know what to say. This story, this story is getting so bizarre. Uh, I just, just don't even know. Wow. And the grease, the hair. What's up with the grease? Does she not have Pantene or whatever they use? I don't know whatever it is these days. I mean, a bar of soap would help with that even. <laughs> it just run the fat right out of that. Degrease that bad boy in about two minutes. All right. <laughs> I, can't, I can't, what do you want me to say? I can't even be serious. This is just so bizarre. The lovers card. What is she trying to say now? Oh, I don't need you, Harry. Um, I mean, it's very Hollywood, isn't it? I mean, it's very, it, it's very Hollywood. <laughs> it's like, um, what's that show? Uh, hang on, Mulholland Drive gone wrong. That's what it is. It's Mulholland Drive gone wrong. Uh, <laughs> wow, she's, except you know, in Megan's case, it's she's, she's having a, a daydream. An epic daydream that she's a she's a duchess or whatever, and people respect her. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. This this episode's been too bizarre for me. I kind of wish I didn't go down this rabbit hole. <laughs> Let's leave it there, folks. I can't take it anymore. Uh, I'll see you in the comments. <laughs>